It's a street corn salad. So if you've ever had street corn before, it's so yummy. It's basically sweet corn, and it's usually got some great um, Mexican spices in it and some cheese. And it just really um, is super trendy. So this will be the hit of your summer uh, cookout. It will go with just about whatever you're grilling. It's really easy and you can make it ahead. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a big old skillet and I'm adding a good amount of olive oil. This is the good stuff from the stock market in Shano. And when it's sweet corn season, and actually the last couple of years, you've been able to get pretty good sweet corn, ears of fresh corn, at the grocery store, um, you know, about this time of year in the summer. So, you know, by all means, if you can get your hands on some really good fresh sweet corn, use that. And you can grill it or you can take it off the cob and just um, heat it up. You want to get some char marks on it. You want to get some color. This time of year, this is just frozen corn that we thawed. If it's real wet, you might want to dry it a little bit. Get it into a smoking hot pan. So I preheated my uh, pan. My olive oil is hot. And this is what you want to hear. You want to hear that sizzle because we want to get some color on that corn. And that's just going to take a little bit. And that color, that char, is going to give it a little bit of flavor. Or a lot of flavor, I should say. Again, if you've got ears of corn, you can take the kernels off the corn or you could grill the corn. Same idea, we're just giving it some color and some flavor. So my, while my corn is hanging out in that hot pan, I've got some big news. But before that, I wanna thank everyone who came to our big night out at Mark's East Side last week. We had a full house. We had almost 100 people and it was so much fun. So we can't thank you all for coming. Wanted to show a couple of pictures from the evening. Uh, this is the mayor of Menominee came down with another lovely woman from Menominee, Michigan. We have people come from all over. The staff at Mark's East Side were terrific. The meal was absolutely fantastic. These are our Nina ladies who have come to a couple of our big night outs and Denise made me uh, the most beautiful apron. Denise, I can't wait to wear it. There it is. There's the apron she made me with my favorite Lily Pulitzer fabric and I will be wearing it on the show. Maybe I'll wear it on the show tomorrow. So thanks so much to everyone for coming to our big night out. It was a hoot. You recognize Jay. Uh, He's been on our show before from Wisconsin Hypnosis. So uh, again, thanks so much for coming and we can't wait for our next big night out. There's my husband, Hoyt, and um, our friends, Amy and Dan. So yeah, it was a really fun crew. So today we are announcing our next big night out. If you weren't able to join us at Mark's East Side in Appleton last week, guess what? We've got another big night out coming out uh, in the Green Bay area at a fabulous restaurant on the river. It's gonna be a magical night. We're going to a place in Green Bay called the OC. And the menu, we work with the, the crew there, is unbelievable, all at a great deal. We'll start June 3rd, have a cash bar, a meet and greet, we'll all hang out. And then we'll be seated our first course, caramelized Brussels sprouts with crisp pork. Second course, a beautiful spring salad with burrata cheese. Third course, you'll have your choice. So you'll either be able to choose halibut with mashed potatoes, asparagus, and a roasted red pepper sauce, or if you're a steak lover like me, filet mignon served with mashed potatoes and asparagus. Fourth course, a delicious lemon olive oil uh, cake. All these courses paired with different wines. Great deal on this. All of this, including the tip, is um, uh, such a great value. So call today after the show to reserve your spot. These always sell out, so I wouldn't wait. Hope to see you at the OC in Green Bay, right on the Fox River on Monday, June 3rd. Can't wait. Okay, so our corn is just getting a little bit of color, and I'm going to move ahead and make a quick, delicious really flavorful dressing that's gonna make the salad really pop. So we're gonna start out with three tablespoons of sour cream. You can use light sour cream. Two tablespoons of mayo. I've got a little bit more in case it, it needs it. A little bit of salt. I've got some chili powder. Full recipe, by the way, you, uh, you can get on our website. Some paprika. 
and uh, this is a half teaspoon, and some cumin, which is gonna give it a nice smoky flavor. So I'm gonna whisk that together. And then I'm gonna add some fresh lime juice. Boy, I took those limes out of the refrigerator this morning and they were rock hard, so I decided to pop them in the microwave to try and soften them up and get the juices flowing. And you know, this isn't in the recipe, but I've been doing this more and more just to pump up the citrus flavor. Why not? If I'm using fresh lime juice anyway, I've just got some fresh lime zest that we're gonna add. All right, my corn, I don't wanna overcook it. I think a lot of times we overcook, oh yeah, when it's starting to pop like that and getting some brown, I want it to let it cool. Um, but man, sometimes we overcook our corn, uh, especially when we're boiling it. It doesn't take that long. You still want it a little bit crisp, so keep that in mind. So now I've got our fresh lime juice and literally we're about at the finish line. This needs some time to, if you've got it, to kind of hang out in the fridge and really let the flavors come together. It also needs quite a bit of lime juice. Fresh is for sure to use fresh for this. In some cases, bottled will work, but boy, the, f the flavor of the fresh corn with the fresh lime juice. And then we're gonna add a little color to this. We've got some red onion. We've got some jalapeno pepper, but if you absolutely, we took the ribs and the seeds out of the jalapeno so it won't be too spicy at all. It's just gonna be flavorful and we've got lots of corn, so I wouldn't worry about it being spicy. You could do less or just do, um, leave it out if you don't want the jalapeno in there. But this dressing looks perfect. These are huge limes, so if your limes are smaller, you may need about two limes. So now we're gonna take that corn, and at home I prefer you have it cooled a little bit. But see, it got some nice, some of the kernels are a little bit dark. We want that. That is, that is flavor. And now I'm gonna add some fresh, chopped cilantro. If you absolutely don't like cilantro, parsley, or actually even basil would work. Give it a nice chop. This would be so great with like barbecue chicken or a grilled steak, burgers, pork tenderloin. Again, it's gonna be something different than all those potato salads gonna be something fresh and you're gonna be a little trendy if you serve this. Red onion, really finely diced the red onion. For some color, diced red pepper, which is not sweet or not hot, I should say, it's very sweet. In goes a jalapeno pepper. In goes some of the cilantro, save some. Give it a toss, refrigerate it, and then check to see if it needs any more spices. Maybe it might need a little more lime juice. And then the other thing we're gonna add is a Mexican cheese. This is a, um, it almost looks like Parmesan cheese, so if you couldn't find it, you can absolutely um, use Parmesan in its place, but I love using some of the Mexican crumbled cheeses. Uh, basically, they are, there's a lot more of them that are available now, uh, and I, you know I, I love them. Uh, the, between the queso fresco, which is nice and crumbly, um, there's just kind of a, many of them. So I love adding the Mexican blend cheese. So basically, then you're going to get this in the refrigerator, let it cool, and then you can top with some more cilantro before serving and a little bit more of that yummy cheese, but oh, as the flavors, as this refrigerates um, and, and chills and the flavors really come together, this is a winner. And we'll put the recipe for this on our website. Something different. Uh, it also would be good really uh, with uh, like Frito scoops or tortilla chips as a, as a nice summer spring dip.